Welcome to 100 Days of Python, the Python Code Along Challenge. I'm Bill Mosley, and if you want to find the entire listing of 100 Days of Python, you can find it at my website, www.bmosley.com hdp. Let's get started. All right, welcome to day 57 of 100 Days of Python, the Code Along With Me Challenge. And uh, today we're going to be building on what we did in day 56, which was the ePet project. And in day 55, we created an object-oriented structure for an ePet where we could have uh, certain things happen. And um, we can take care of the pets and adopt a new pet and that sort of thing. In day 56, we expanded this to allow us to adopt more than one animal. But they're all just sort of a generic ePet class. So today, we are going to take this a little bit further. And I'm going to start with that same code from 56. I'll close that file. And what we're going to do today is we are going to um, start out by expanding on this generic ePet class. And we're actually going to build classes that are dependent classes or child classes of this parent class. So they'll inherit all of these things, the initialization, all of these methods, all of these properties will be inherited by the child class. But we're going to begin to differentiate and provide multiple different types of pets. So the way this works is I'm going to declare a new class. And this new class is going to be, let's just say, e puppy. And that e puppy class is going to be based on e pet. So this is how it looks. And of course, the first thing we want to do is the initialization class. And you can see that the epet class requires this strn class, which comes out as the name. And so we need to keep that in mind. But we are going to we're going to define the initialization class or the initialization method. And we are going to require the name again. And I don't think I'm going to require any additional parameters. But the first thing we need to do is we need to say super. And we're going to call the initialization class of the super. And we're going to pass that the str n when we, when we initialize that. So when we initialize the e puppy class, we are going to get the strn argument. And then we are going to take that and we're going to pass that straight to the super class, which is this pet class. So we're going to initialize the super class explicitly and pass it that piece of information. Int hunger and int boredom will be already, it will be created. It will, so it's going to call all of this so this e puppy will inherit all of these things. Now, um, one thing that might be uh, interesting is for each animal to have a slightly different pay play, uh, play pet. So if I play with a puppy, maybe I'll say something like, so I say def play pet, and I'm going to say instead of I just played with the pet is put it. You had a game of fetch with, okay, so we need to make that an F string game of fetch with self dot str name. And so now it's a puppy, so we're playing fetch and self dot int boredom. Let's have the boredom improved by four when we play fetch with a puppy. So that's overriding this. And that's something called polymorphism. So inheritance is when we have all of these things in the parent class, the methods and properties, and they're inherited by the 
the child class. Polymorphism is when I take something that is in the original class and I overwrite it in the child class. So I'm changing something to that. Okay? So that's that. And um, for now, I think I'm just going to leave it that way. And for class E fish, which is our other type of pet, we'll base that on the E pet as well. And we need to define the initialization class. In fact, we can just copy this from, from the previous one because that's going to be the same. So I'll just copy and paste. Don't type things when you can copy and paste them. And maybe this time, instead of altering PayPlet, maybe I'll over, override FeedPet. So I will say DEF feed pet. Okay, and a self is one of is the only argument there. And I'm gonna say print, and that's gonna be an F string, and we'll say you sprinkle some food into and self dot name tank. And then self dot in hunger. Let's give it a plus four just to mix it up a little bit. So now we have an, an e puppy and an e fish. And so if I want to adopt a new pet, the procedure looks a little bit different, right? So I want to choose what to name my pet, but I also need to choose what kind of pet so I know what kind of object to append. So I'm going to say str. Um, actually, let's start out with a little print here. Triple quote allows me to do this. Types of pets. One is going to be a puppy. Two is going to be a fish. And I'm going to say str type equals input type the number of the type of pet you want to adopt. And then I'm going to have the name. And then, of course, if str type equals one, then we're going to append an e puppy. And I'll, if str type equals two, then ally pets append, and we're going to append an e fish, and we're going to give it str name, and else print that's not one of the options. Okay, so let's give this a shot and try adopting these new pets. Okay, so I'm going to adopt a new pet. Types of pets, a puppy or a fish. Let's try puppy. Sam the puppy. You adopt an e-pet named Sam. Let's feed, let's Let's adopt a different pet. Let's adopt a fish. Guppy. Okay, so we have Sam and Guppy. Let's play with Sam. So we'll play with the pet. 
play with Sam. You had a game of fetch with Sam. Sam's getting bored and hungry. Uh oh. So let's feed Guppy, which was the other override that we did. Okay, so you sprinkle some food into Guppy's tank. You can see here that now the the uh, pets are differentiated. Uh, it would be nice here to know which is which is which or what kind of animal they are. So let's go back and let's just override that that string method for each of those. So I'm going to copy that. Now if I'm overriding it for both, there's not a huge need for it to be here in the original, but it could be just a generic fallback in case I forgot, I suppose. But if I'm going to override this in both, then probably I'm going to say, okay, so he's a puppy. And we will go over 20. And same thing for the fish. So we'll go fish. And then we'll even out that spacing. Let's run it one more time. So we're going to adopt a pet. And we're going to adopt a fish. Copy. Okay, so there is my new fish. Let's adopt. Let's adopt a new pet puppy. And we'll call it George the puppy. And you can see here it maintains the spacing. Uh, really nicely because we have that spacing spelled out to 20. Let's adopt another pet. Let's get another fish. Um, how about Nemo? Okay, so we've got we've got Guppy is super hungry. So let's feed Guppy. Uh oh, Guppy ran away. I guess I didn't give him enough. All said and done. Um, I'm losing all my pets already. Anyway, so you can see how that works. And that is when we talk about polymorphism, that's what we're talking about, where we override, we can, things, things get inherited from the parent class to the child class, and we can override them to, to make that child class a little bit different or a little bit more specific. And of course, inheritance is when we have something in the parent class that is inherited here in the child class. And that's how inheritance works. It allows us to start out with a generic object and then differentiate that object uh, using child objects. So that's it for today. Thanks for coding along with me, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video and coding along with me. Once again, if you want to access the entire listing of 100 Days of Python, you can do it at my website, www.bmosley.com slash hdp. You can also access my book, Introduction to Python Programming for Absolute Beginners, at my website, www.bmosley.com book. Thanks again, and we'll see you around.